Justin Edison joins us today, UCLA defensive tackle. Uh, these are the dog days of summer, they call it. It is brutally hot out here. The sun is unbelievable. And yet you're going to go to Manhattan, Kansas, where they say it's going to be 20 degrees more. Mm -hmm. uh, how, do you, how can you even comprehend it being 20 degrees worse than this? Um, well, you can't really. Just being out here, you, you just have to imagine it. That's why I uh, come out here, wear the long sleeve every day, wear a high socks, try to put myself in that situation as much as I can. Yeah. So, you know, uh, Justin, obviously, you guys only, with Daytona's injury, you only have one guy returning in the front seven. Mm -hmm. And yet, uh, a point that David Carter made to me the other day was how, you know, you guys were all pretty heavily recruited. You guys were major prospects coming in. And it's mm -hmm. almost like people forget, you yeah. know, how good you guys can be. Mm -hmm. um, how hard is it to, remind yourself that at one point you guys were dominant and now here's your time to be dominant again um i don't think it's a, a matter of reminding ourselves because we we know how good we are um but it at the same time it's also motivation for us just uh hearing that you know we might not be as good as mm -hmm. defenses previous to ours and you know whatever people say but we, we just use it as motivation and we all know how good we are you know we've been lifting with each other, working out with each other the last couple of uh, months and stuff. So we know what we're capable of. You know, the season's less than two weeks away. It's, it's pretty much here. Yeah. Uh, you know, you come out here in the spring, you come out here in the fall, you do your thing. As the season gets closer, just how much do you want it to be September 4th already? I mean, are you guys just ready today? Forget the rest of the scheme, yeah. forget everything. Are you ready to just go out there today? Yeah, we, we've, we've been ready since camp started. We've been ready since started camp for this game, man. You know, the closer it gets, the more excited the team is getting to play. So. Really looking forward to it. You guys beat them last year. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it? Twenty-three to nine, I think it mm -hmm. was. Mm -hmm. uh, that was behind Kevin Kraft in a different system. Mm -hmm. um, now you guys are going there with Kevin Prince in mm -hmm. the new pistol. Mm -hmm. uh, at this point, is there anything that you can really pull from that game? You know, obviously you're watching game film for the for the personnel, but schematically, is there anything that you can say? Okay, we can do this, or we should do this. Um, well, I think um, as far as games and everything. I don't think that was really the problem. I think okay. last year, you know, they had a lot of big plays off of missed tackles and um, missed assignments and stuff. So I think if we just if we just focus on those assignments that we miss and just be disciplined and make the plays we're supposed to make, we should be good. You know, that's that, that seems to be the, the common theme this year, the idea of, you know, staying in your assignment, staying true mm -hmm. to things. Last year, you know, I remember that Oregon State game, Jaquiz Rogers kind of ran, yeah. ran, ran wild, Shane mm -hmm. Vereen for Cal. Uh, how important, you know, are the coaches making that emphasis this year? Kind of just, you know, improving as an entire unit rather mm -hmm. than individual players performing better than, say, the guy before. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a big emphasis this year, especially because you have to remember that you have 10 of the guys on the field with you. So if you miss an assignment or if you're out of your gap on defense, if I'm out of my gap and running back creases my gap, yeah. it's a 20-yard gain on the defense. It's not just me. So everybody, if everybody does their job, you know, then – we, we, we shut plays down. If one person is out of is not where he's supposed to be, then you know it just messes up everything. Last thing I have for you, Justin. Uh, which offensive linemen, and, and particularly the maybe the less heralded guys, have impressed you this offseason, especially this camp? Um, I think everyone's impressed me, especially on the first O line. Uh, Good answer. <laughs> Diplomatic. Uh, right, no, seriously. Ryan Taylor is a lot better. Eddie Williams, uh, Darius. All these guys are. They're, they, they're stronger. They can move. I think they move a lot better than they were in the spring. Yeah. So I'm really excited to watch them play. Good stuff. Justin Edison, UCLA defensive tackle. Thanks, man.